Hey guys, Dan Heilman, back with another Watcher of Realms video. I didn't make my SS Plus video yesterday because I was really, really close to Triple S. I'm literally 45k away. I've made a couple gear changes, uh, gave my Reeve a little bit more attack speed. So let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I'll show you the setup. I'll show you a couple different setups actually. So depending on what you're using, right? So if you're using um, a team like I am here with Cerberus and a couple of the chaotic units. You can use Vladov if you don't have Gon. I do not have Gon, unfortunately. There's a couple different leaders you could use. Um, you could use my man here, no problem. You can use Vladov. Um, and basically what this does for you is it gets the 10% stats, but it also gives 40% damage, which is really cool because your, uh, at least your Ardea, if you're using Ardea, is going to be low HP. Cerberus is gonna be low HP as well. Um, and those are your three. So you want them low HP and you're gonna get a lot of damage out of your t these two. Most of the damage is gonna come from these two. I've seen some other strats that use Morrigan as well, um, which also boosts Cerberus and it also boosts Reeve. So you can go either way, depending on what you wanna try out. Um, I'll show you a couple different uh, layouts. So I'll show you the layout I was using originally, and then I'll show you the layout that I ended up swapping to. Uh, let's go. So the very first layout I tried was I put my ranged damage dealers like this. I put my, um, my girl right here. And then I did something like this. Okay. And then I had something either like this, um, because, and then you can do something like this to protect everything. There you go. However, you do want Ardea back one because these enemies right here do get hit. So for Ardea, if she does not have a healer, she'll die. But right now, you can see I have Constance here to heal her up so she won't die. But this also doesn't mean that sometimes she's not going to be low HP. So this is one of the layouts you can do, um, and it works okay. I got decent damage. But there's another layout that I ended up using. Um, shout out to Ron for uh, the video he posted. I will put a link in the description down so you guys can go check out his video. He's the number one person, um, if you did not know. So here we go. This is a little bit better because now she can't get hit. You also don't heal her. So what I do is I drop her. Then I drop Vladov because Vladov is in an invigoration set, okay? So then I get rid of him, okay? Then I drop Cerberus. Then I drop Constance. Constance is also an invigoration set, okay? So these are my two strongest heroes. I buff them with invigoration. Then I drop Belk over here. And then I drop Reeve in front of Cerberus. And then once Vladov comes back up, I'll put him right here to block my uh, Constance. So this means that Cerberus gets to live a little bit, little bit longer because he's got a tank in front of him now. Um, and Reeve also does a great job of clearing these waves, right? So I like to use Reeve right away, get him popping um, to get through this first. Um, cool down a little bit quicker. So we gotta wait till people are here. And then he's gonna kind of solo those. I pop Valk's bonus right away because Valk is in um, the Soul Arcana set. So you wanna use her ultimate a lot, right? To keep her. Um, Building up that damage, that stacking damage buff, right? Then once Reeve runs out, um, you can see we're kind of near the end of this, so we can kind of, uh, oh, maybe he's not as good with attack speed. I uh, got rid of a little attack on Reeve and I went higher attack speed because I'm using that artifact that explodes every 10 hits um, and does damage. Maybe that's not the best move for him. We'll see how this hand. We'll see how this works, and if not, I'll swap him back. I took a attack speed piece off Valk, and I swapped it with an attack piece from Reeve. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So now I'm gonna use uh, Constance buff. Basically, I'm rotating ultimates. Right. So I'll use Reeve one time, then I'll use Constance, then I'll use Cerberus, and I'll kind of rotate them. Um, Vladoff doesn't really matter too much. I can kind of just use his on use and. Uh, whatever her name is, Valk, I'm going to use hers, obviously, every time I can because of the bonus. All right, now we'll pop the Serb alt here. And then once the Cerberus alt ends, we'll go to the Revolt. The whole goal of this is to kind of just evenly kill all of these enemies. You can see Ardea is just a beast. I mean, she's hitting for 800k over here, just crushing everything. Okay, so the proc from Reeve's artifact did 
basically clear the wave, so that's good. Um, maybe it was better that I swapped it over that way. So here you can see Reeve really does a lot of damage and really holds up everything uh, when Reeve has his ultimate going. Unfortunately, I don't have any skill ups in Reeve. If I had skill ups in Reeve right now, I think I'd be triple S no problem. Um, it's just skill ups are so hard to get in this game. They're really hard to get. Okay, we're going to pop um, our Constant's alt here now, and then we're going to save it because once I get to like A or B here, um, I want to save the Constant's alt for right when Cerberus is going to die. If Cerberus dies with the Constant alt, it's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. All right, so it's B+. Plus. We'll get into A here soon. Um, I'm going to use the Reeve alt to help just get rid of these. Look at all this damage we're doing here. Boom. Looking great. There's the AoE, which definitely helped there. All right, we're in A. Once we get to A+, plus, um, we're going to have to start thinking about timing our Cerberus. If you can time the Cerberus alt and um, the Constance alt at the same time, it's really good. But the problem is, is it clears the entire board, and that means that Cerberus may not die with the buff. Okay, So you do want him to die with the buff, so let's... Uh, Okay, we're in S, so I'm going to pop them both, and hopefully he's going to die here. I think I popped it too soon. I think I popped it too soon. You want to pop it when he's at like 10%, because you can see we're just wrecking all of the waves. And we want this dude to die right now. We want him to die right now, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. You want him to die during the alt. Uh, it didn't happen. So we're probably going to have to restart, because you'll see... Um, I don't know, we'll just leave it for a minute, but I'll show you. You really want him to die with that uh, with that constant salt. If he does, it's an insane amount of damage, and it clears the whole board every tick. It's, like, quite insane. I'll show you here. All right, so we're at double S. Man, he's still living. Maybe this will be a good run, just because of the... Okay, so there he goes. He's down. You can see the big AoE he's dealing. He's really just crushing it for um, damage right after he dies there. So there's the double S plus... Maybe this won't be as bad of a run as I thought. 150, 160 in there is about where I'm getting. Yeah, so it'll be a little bit low of that because Cerberus did not die with the Constant's buff. That's my goal in this entire run is that's all I'm trying to do is make it so he dies. Um, We're not going to make it, but that's okay. Well, I guess we'll let it play out and then I'll show you kind of the damage screen and then we'll give it another attempt, see if I can get um a better damage attempt. I can also just use my auto attempt um from before so there you go they're gonna break through we're not gonna make it to 150. 1.5 mil okay so there's a double s run now we'll try to get a triple s run here again okay so did not so we'll go next and we'll kind of show you so you're getting most of your damage right here um, you do get some solid damage out of Valk and uh, Reeve as well again if I had Reeve skilled up it would probably be um it would probably be easy to do this all right so i'm just going to use my auto fight that i already recorded because it took me like a hundred runs to get there i spent all day on this i'm not gonna lie i spent literally all day on this so this run Cer uh cerberus does die with the constants buff so i'll just play the auto run and we'll see if we can get really close now that i change the gear around another thing is i was lacking artifacts for fighters um the cerberus artifact the one that heals the lunacy visor i'll go over the gear in a minute um but i had to max out that for cerberus and then i wanted to max a second copy of that ranged artifact for valk um and then i also started working on reeves artifact the one that you can see right there that uh tuning fork or whatever it's called um apparently one of the rarest artifacts in the entire game because i have been recording a thousand pulls of artifacts and it's the only artifact i've never gotten so apparently it's the most rare artifact in the entire game but all right let's see if we can get our a better run let's see if we can get our triple s um that's what i'm really looking for is a triple s i showed you the two manual fights um and manual setups for the different teams now you can just sit here and hit auto until you get some RNG that, you know, gives you your big number. So that is a strat, is to get your best run and then press auto like a million times. Um, so here we go. Constance has her ultimate active right now. You can see uh, Cerberus dies. So you just look at how much damage it does now that that Cerberus ult is just crushing everything. Ooh, Reeve is not using his ultimate for some reason. 
Let's uh, go back on auto here. Let's see if we can get that to do anything here. Interesting. I wonder why he didn't use his ultimate that time. I wonder if I gave him a little bit less rage regen so that threw off my auto team. I wonder if that's what happened. I'm really, really close to triple S. Um, we're going to do a few thousand more attempts and maybe we'll get some triple S. All right. So after about eight hours invested in this event, I have come to the conclusion that it's not possible. It is not possible to get triple S unless you have skilled up heroes. My entire team is not skilled up. Um, I'll go through the gear and, you know, the best run I got was right right here. I'm, I'm 50k away um, and I want to talk about skill ups and why it's not a very good system we got in the game right now. Even if you want to buy skill ups, you can't do it. It's not possible. So let's talk about it. Let's uh, go through the gear real quick on all my heroes. So first thing we got Vlad off. He is the leader. He has invigoration. This is my invigoration damage set. Um, he's an epic, so he doesn't have a lot of attack. You can say I only have 10k attack, unfortunately. But this is my set I usually use on Araka for guild boss. So it is an invigoration set with damage in mind. So we got crit attack, crit damage. And then we got some stuff over here. He is using a Scarlet Hunt, which is not quite that useful for because he places the own bleeds, but he, you know, there's a million enemies around, so he's probably not hitting him. He's A5, he's fully skip, skilled up, okay? Cerberus, this is the number one damage dealer right next to Ardea. These two are getting similar damage. He is in Infernal Roar set. Uh, he has a lot of crit damage, a good amount of attack. He is in attack, crit damage, crit damage. There's his weapon and there is his chest. Um, his artifact is Lunacy Visor. I got about 70 million additional damage from a max Lunacy Visor over the uh, Sin artifact, this one right here. I do not have a maxed Eye of Sin, so it was level 13 versus level 25. Got me like, I don't even know, maybe it was more like 100 million. A uh, very big number, okay? So skill ups here's the problem i do have his ultimate skilled up but i don't have anything else skilled up i don't have anyone on this team skilled up besides vladov because they're legendaries it's not possible to get skill ups in this game they don't give you crystals they give you one a month and then um, you can't buy them either in the game unfortunately so he does have a lot of awakens on him because i spent 700 dollars on the ancient banner and got four copies of this bro who's not even an ancient exclusive hero so that feels terrible as well but he happened to be useful in this content so that's pretty cool um a3 makes him really good so when hp drops below 50 percent doubles the damage dealt by the ground effect okay so this a3 is a big boost in his damage um i talked about the artifact i talked about the gear didn't i attack crit crit yeah i did okay now ardea another great hero i have her in soul barn arcana she does have an auto ultimate so she's really good with soul barn arcana however again i don't have skill ups because you can't get them in the game it's physically impossible to get skill ups they give you dust and then you can't delete the dust and the only way you can get it sold a pack is if you have zero dust and you can never have zero dust so it's not possible to buy skill ups inside the game which is unfortunate uh here you go so no skill ups anywhere um artifact i do have a realm terror maxed out she is dealing damage from very far away so you're gonna get a lot of damage from this very good i don't have any awakens on her uh soul bond arcana with crit damage crit damage attack and then attack attack speed crit damage etc um some decent stats there Next, we have Valkyrie. She is also in Soulbound Arcana, and she's also not skilled up. And every time I skill up anyone, I never get any skill ups in the goddamn ultimate. And you cannot get um, skill ups in the game, as I've mentioned. We'll talk about that in a minute. But she is awakened one time, which just gives her a little bit more range. And then uh, I don't have any other skill ups, unfortunately. I didn't even get Valk until very, very recently. Um, I have this Realm Terror, which is not quite maxed out. I could max this out to maybe get me into that triple S range. Um, artifacts and skill ups are gonna be the biggest gate to getting into this. So Soul Bar Anaconda, crit rate, attack, crit damage. Um, there's that, there's that. Okay, skill ups again, don't have a lot. Uh, oopsie. And then um, Reeves. Reeves, again, not skilled up. Don't have skill ups in the ultimate. I do have a little bit of skill cost duration, which is kind of nice. Um, but don't have any of the effect duration or the damage, which would be huge. Um, again, I only have a couple skill ups in here. And I don't, 
you know, the slow, all that stuff. When attacking enemy targets under control, restores max HP, that would be nice, uh, etc. So he is in another Soulbound Arcana set. Uh, crit damage, attack speed, crit damage. I went for higher attack speed on him. You can see I have quite high attack speed because this artifact he has when he hits 10 basic attacks, he does a big AOE. It also heals him for 16% of his HP. I could max this out, give me a little bit more damage as well, but I still have no skill ups. I don't have any awakens on him. Um, we went through the gear already. I have a little, do I have a little tankiness? Not really. Um, I just took this off a of damage dealer. And the final hero is who? Constance. Constance, I just took my Dolores gear Again, you want attack percent and you want flat attack. You want the highest attack number as possible. She's in an invigoration set um, to boost my team. She, again, is not skilled up. She is only partially skilled up using dust only. All of these heroes are skilled up using dust only because it's the only thing that exists in this game. You can't get skill crystals. You can max one hero every, I don't know, three months, six months with skill crystals. Uh, artifact, I have a keen wisdom on her to give her more attack. Again, I want all attack on her. I have her A1, which increases her healing, which is kind of useless. Uh, this one would be a little bit better, flat attack. And then um, this would be nice. When receiving healing, the hero increases attack by 10%. So I think when she heals herself, that would trigger that as well. Getting even more attack, that would be quite nice. Okay, that's that. Now, let's talk about Skill dust, sorry, skill crystals, which you cannot get in the game. Um, there is no way to trigger a pack to buy skill ups. It comes into this development section here. The only way to trigger it is to get your dust and your skill crystals to zero. If I press the skill up button, you can see there is not a single legendary I have that is not skilled up with dust. So every single person is waiting on these. And since you can't get rid of your dust. There's no way to convert it. You can't even delete it. If I could delete all of this dust, I would, because that would force me to zero, which means they would sell me a new pack. So the only way I can even get a skill up pack would be to get a new legendary, which there's only three in the game I don't have. Um, and then I'd have to use this on it. So there's literally no way to convert this, to do anything. I can't destroy it. I can't get rid of it. And it's the only thing holding me back. Um, from getting triple s because you can't get skill ups in the game even if i wanted to purchase them i cannot purchase them so that's my rant about skill ups and that's going to be basically everything for the team and for this boss sorry it ended up being a long video but there's kind of a lot to review in this boss and i kind of want to talk about the skill up stuff because it's been bothering me for a while um you know they just don't sell skill up packs and you can't get them in the game like there's no way to get skill ups you go to these events and sometimes it's like oh if you finish this event you know then you'll get skill ups but a lot of them are quite hard to do you can see there's no skill ups here no skill ups here um no skill ups here no skill ups here no skill ups anywhere in the game anywhere you cannot get them from anything you can get them from guild boss um which is nice you can get them from guild boss um let's see if we get one. Oh no we already got our guild boss rewards for the day you can get them from guild boss you can buy like one here and there from arena but it's really bad. It is really bad. And never ever buy legendary skill dust because that'll brick your game. If you have too much legendary skill dust, you'll never be able to buy a skill up pack. I guess if you're a not spender, it doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, besides getting rid of legendary heroes and buying these, I mean, it's so hard to get A5 legendaries and then get rid of them. So that's not really a good way to get these, unfortunately. Um, I guess I could purchase one of these, use maybe 150 skill dust, and maybe that would get me close to the zero threshold to spawn a pack for me, maybe. But like Ardea, I really want to skill her up. Um, and see, this only uses 50. So I don't know if going below 100 is even enough. So I'm not going to do it because I would have to get rid of a Lego just to get one skill up. It's just they don't really have skill ups in the game. But anyways, enough of the rant about skill ups. But here is my double S. I don't think it's possible to get triple S without skill ups. Um, if we go, I guess we can look real quick on here. I don't know that anyone has done it yet. So if we go to ranking and we go to the lowest triple S person, I'm pretty sure he's going to have at least one hero skilled up. So, uh, OK, this guy. OK, so actually it's kind of nice because it's the same team I have exactly. So. He's not skilled up. Okay, so that's promising. Um, he's skilled up fully. So that's why he's able to do... Uh, I see. I can almost do 150 mil. Let's see if his Valk's skilled up. Yeah, she's almost fully skilled up. You know, she's got four, four. Yeah, so she, he's only missing a couple. Or he just got lucky. No, he's only missing a couple. So he's skilled up her. So 
that's a problem. I'm not going to be able to do it because I don't have the skill ups. Um, it's just unfortunate. Did he skill up him even? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. All right. Anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, I'm number 87 with no skill ups. I'm proud of that because I've spent about 12 hours or eight hours or some ungodly amount of time trying to do this. I've done a million auto runs and I I'm really close. I'm like 50K away. I guess I could maybe farm artifacts and max out two more artifacts and maybe get somewhere, but. I'm trying to save my stamina for some of the other events coming, so I don't want to do that quite yet. That's it for the video. Sorry, a long one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.